and welcome to this week's market update for November 27th of 2017. My name is Adam Straseski and I'm so grateful that you're here. We always start with the broad market readings or the market stages and then the operating plan. First things first, bear market territory, not even close. All rolled XUSA index, this orange line, and the S&P 500, this green line, are greatly outpacing U.S. Treasuries. And so we're not even concerned about being in bear market territory right now. International is outpacing S&P, which is why we are focusing on the international indices. As far as correction risk, looks pretty good for the bulls. Not too uh, high right now, according to breadth. We see a nice advance in breadth right here, along with the S&P 500, and on the shorter term, Oscillator as well. Oscillator's been really good at uh, the bottoms, and so each time we've gotten to the bottom, we've got a little jump in price, and we'll see if that can continue into this week, or if, in fact, the, the indice does turn around. As far as the stage for the S&P 500, we're in this broad bull channel represented by these green lines. Looks pretty good. We talked about this being a possible bull flag uh, right now. It looks like that's the way that it is panning out. Had a nice bull bar this week. Closes on an all-time high, up 0.91% for the week for the S&P 500. Good week for the bulls. As far as the operating plan, we still like preferreds and then the all-world XUSA index for the weekly swing. Here is the list, and none for the scalps right now. So let's get right to the All World XUSA index, up almost 2%, 1.83% for the week. New high, looks really good. We are bullish on this all the way up to a 50% retracement. If it goes below that, then we uh, will more than likely change our opinion. But right now, it looks good for the All World XUSA index. Canada up over 1%, 1.18% to be exact. Nice bull bar, and it looks like it's stuck in this little trading range. And now is the opportunity for the bulls, or this coming week is the opportunity for the bulls to advance. If it does, then we'll adjust the stop up uh, below here if we get a strong breakout. Uh, but right now, it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll see if they can, the bulls can continue to the upside here. UK up one almost one and a half percent. Last week we did have a nice bull reversal bar uh, broke through the high right there, and this could be uh, what looks like a, a bull flag. So we'll see again if this can continue to the upside. Second purchase range way down here, and then a stop way even way 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 down here even further. So still looks good for UK, uh, but it does have a lot of room to move. Japan up 1.28%. Bears got in there a little bit. Looks on a, a shorter term chart. Be it, you could see the uh, bull flag some more, but looks pretty good for Japan. Don't have this all the way extended, but if it does break above, above there, then we'll look at, at uh, exiting there. So right now we've got our uh, second stop that we put in here. This was our first one. We've adjusted it up and never got to our second purchase range. Oil up almost 4%, good week for oil. Bulls in control right here. We've got a nice advance and we'll see if they can continue to hold it higher than this trading range. If it does get back into the trading range, gets down to the bottom third, we get a nice uh, buy setup and signal. Think about getting some more there. US Treasuries up almost a half percent. You know, they're just stuck in this trading range it looks like. And we'll see if it can get above. We've got a, a purchase a range down in here if it gets if it breaks below, and we get a, a, a buy set up. Australia up over a percent. Australia also stuck in a trading range. It looks like. Uh, good thing is it's at the top of the trading range. We've got a second purchase uh, price down in here, and then initial stop down in this in this range right here. If it does break up to the upside, then we'll look at adjusting our stop loss up. Brazil, this is the newest one, and up 1.69% for the week. Nice bull bar there. You know, would have liked it if it would have closed on the high for the week, uh, but I'll take it uh, for, for what it did here. And then we've got a second purchase range down in here, an initial stop down in here. So that is a lot of room to move for Brazil 
as well as many of the other ones. Looks pretty good for it right now. I like it. This is about a 50% retracement down in here and then bouncing on the uh, 34 moving average. So we'll see if we can continue the bullish price action into this week. And if not, then we're going to look at getting some more down in the bottom third. Monthly trenders still want to build once we get a larger pullback. And then weekly swing, nothing for the weekly swing this week and nothing for the scalp as far as building or, um, excuse me, purchasing anymore. And with that, have a great week and I hope you had a, a great Thanksgiving.